is an art form. It's a cool performance art. I like to play with all these elements and tell my story to the world. To be honest, it's not easy living this life, living this path, living as Venom is joking. There's a lot of hate comments. You can see like people saying like, oh, you know, they are a disgrace to the Malay community, Muslim community, and that if uh, they want to see us outside, they will punch us, you know, all these threats. Why do I dress up like this? Like, you know, you're, no, you're not a male, you're not a female. What are you? Are you a clown? You know, all of this, and it's just sick. I remember I was with my ex-boyfriend, but we didn't do anything. We didn't hold hands, we didn't kiss. We just walked, we are just walking, and I just got punched. Uh, from the back and then from the front, by three, four Malay dudes. It was in Fires Plaza, like, the salespeople, like, just watching and looking and witnessing and doing nothing. And it's pretty sad. Yeah, because if I were to see that, I would fucking do something about it, you know, but... My name is Izzy, Aziz Mahade by birth, and people now know me as Benavis Joachim. I'm a drag queen. Once I put on, you know, the costumes and wigs and stuff like that, I'm like, it's just a different person. I, I can just walk on the streets briefly, perform like any kind of performance where people like, even if they don't get it, but you know, they still feel entertained. I have so many things that I want to show to the world, and I want to take this drag, uh, drag art, to actually channel all my inner feelings. Yeah, my sorry. You get away me. I didn't really came out. Unfortunately, it came on the front page of Berita Harian. And my mom got to know about it. Um, it was. <clears throat> It's just, to think about it back, like, um, I remember it was on a Sunday morning, I was sleeping in my room, um, and my mom banged the door. It was very loud. She asked me, open the door, like, why are you doing this? Uh, how am I gonna face your uncles and aunties? Are uh, you disgrace? Um, it's like, you just feel that you're a disgrace to the family, you know, like, embarrassment. I was very scared, I was very terrified, I was, I just don't, don't, don't want to go out from my room. Um, I was just very scared to face my mom. House of Miss Joachim, when I started the house, not just for our community, also like to really make a mark. I don't just build a house just for the sake of like following trends and whatnot. I really want us to really represent properly, yeah, uh, with the talents, the skills that they have. These girls under my wings, fucking amazing. They can deliver A to Z. It's just that there are just some things where they need to fine tune, like with the looks and everything. But it's amazing, like what these girls can bring. I see potential in these girls. I want to push them. I, they're gonna be amazing. So how Samir Joking means to me is the epitome of having new family members, especially coming from a Muslim family who's very really religious and staunch you'll find a new family that you've never found. There's always someone there for you. It's just, it's just a, I think, a safety blanket or a safety net for you to fall on to tell you that you're not alone. Yeah. Like, I want everyone of us to be known for our talent, passion, creativity and whatnot. So, yeah. Vanda Miss Joachim as a drag mother is beyond amazing. She is not stingy when it comes to knowledge of drag. She's just someone I look up to for years. I actually know Vanda Miss Joachim even before she was a drag queen. So Vanda Miss Joachim means a lot to me, but most import importantly, I also knew Izzy very well, so he is equally important to me as well. She mentored me in my dance crew way back then, 
and then 10 years later she's mentoring me again in drag and I'm just blessed. You can tell that we are a family. This is what I told them, the advice that I give to every one of them. That be so good in your craft that no one can pick on you, like so nobody can touch you. Yeah. If foreigners come to Singapore and they're like, oh, what a like good drag queen in Singapore, how's it working? Part of the family of season two of Drag Race Thailand. Venom is Joe Kim representing Singapore. It's a very big deal. To be the first Singaporean drag queen and a Muslim one too, to be put on a drag race franchise is something to talk about. She deserves it. You know, she has been working and hustling a lot in Singapore, and she built a, a strong name for herself in Singapore. You know, I feel proud and blessed that she is, you know, representing a part of Asia uh, to the world. I wish her, you know, all the best. She's the perfect choice to represent, you know, Singapore. Well, although I'm representing Singapore, but I, I still have backlash from, you know, the outfit that I wore for my entrance look. I wore a niqab, a burqa, and they thought I was being offensive and using the name Venom is Joachim is perverting our national flower, which I don't understand. I have no ill intentions. I have no intentions of hurting people. Um, it's an art form. It's just that you need to make them understand. You need to explain to them that, hey, I'm doing this as a profession, it's paying my bills, and it's not easy. It's, it's really not easy. <laughs> the doctor or the lawyer or the engineer that she wants me to be. But... I, I, I love her. She knows that I love her. She knows that I'm going to be there for her. I'm always there for her if she needs me. And I think whatever strength that I have now is from her. Mula-mula uh, terperanjat. Terperanjat. Sedih pun ada. Dulu sekolah, biasa lah, normal lah. Lagi kecil, lain lah. Ada besar lain. Sekarang nak jadi macam gini. Nampak macam tak tak suka lah. Cik memang tak suka. Cuma dia terang dengan Cik. Ah, gini macam cara. Pasal dia dah minat. Cik ada. Tiga beradik ada lah. Tengah lagi dia dah jarang jumpa lah. Apa pun dia jaga mak Cik. Apa-apa ah, mak jangan ini, jangan ini. Semua dia boleh bikin. Dia anak yang bungsu, Pak Abed dia duduk dengan Pak Cik. Dia ada sayang. Hmm.